So if you cannot tell by this wonderful face I have going on right now, I feel like crap. And nobody wants to feel or look like crap around Christmas time because you want to be happy and feeling great. So I actually have to go do a few things today. I don't feel good and I don't want to look like I don't feel good. So I am going to show you how I do my makeup just to make me look alive. So when you're sick, your skin gets dehydrated really easily because you can get dehydrated really easily. I know I do. Um, so I constantly drink a ton of water when I'm sick to make sure that my skin stays nice and doesn't get too dried out. And if I am having a problem with dry skin while I'm sick, I do use a decent amount of moisturizer. I use more than I would normally use just to make sure my skin's not dry and gross, especially around my nose and my mouth because you're constantly wiping your mouth, blowing your nose. It's just gross. Um, and definitely I keep these Nivea lip butters handy. I love these things just to moisturize your lips. So the first thing you definitely want to do before you apply any makeup when you're sick is moisturize. You don't really want to wear makeup, but you feel like you need to even out your skin tone or something. Just give yourself something. There are products out there like the Nip and Fab Sheer Makeup Fix. Um, this is a primer. It's a complexion perfector as well, so it evens out your skin tone, um, diminishes the appearance of any imperfections on your skin, while giving your skin a healthy looking glow to it, and I do believe very much so that this product does that. Um, even through foundation, I still have this glow that I don't or didn't have before I started using this. So something like this is really good. I've just applied it and I do feel like it has kind of evened out my skin tone a little bit. So if you don't really want to wear makeup, pick up something like this. Oh, now because I am going out and doing things that require me to be in public and I don't want to look like death, I am actually going to apply some makeup, not a lot. Um, first, I'm going to start with this thing called Bright Eyes by Skin. Um, it's basically a color corrector for under the eye area, and I just apply this under my foundation before I apply anything else. Um, and then I just pat that out with my finger. And it's not the most uh, full coverage corrector, but once you put other product over top of it, you can definitely tell a so difference. For foundation today, since I don't want anything heavy because I don't think it looks right on my skin when my I am sick, because my skin's different and dehydrated and even more dry than it normally is, I'm going to be mixing together the Pacifica Alight BB Cream and MAC Select Cover Up in NC20. And I have just plopped those on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to mix those together, um, and I chose this BB cream because it has light reflecting particles in it, and um, that's what I need. I need my skin to look healthy and glowy and dewy, um, and I'm just going to take my Miracle Complexion sponge and just plop that all over, and by using this sponge, this kind of shears it out as well, so you just kind of get even skin tone and not super heavy coverage. So now as you can see that just applied a nice thin layer of something to just make my skin look healthy and glowy and give some color back to my face. Um, so. Yeah. Now because I forgot to hit record like a dummy, I have already concealed the any redness around my nose very lightly just to make sure it's not like Rudolph red. Um, and I use the Benefit Fake Up Concealer in the color light. And I just took that over top of um, any other blemishes just so there's not a super amount of redness on my face because I don't like that. Um, and then for the rest of my face, just again to make my face look kind of alive. <laughs> I'm going to use the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer and I'm going to take that down the center of my face just like I normally would. Take it under my eyes as well just because it is called the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer and just wake up my under eyes under there. Just like that. 
And then I'm going to blend it all out with my Miracle Complexion Sponge. Blended all that out. I went ahead and set under my eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Again, it's a powder. It's translucent that has light reflecting pigment in it. Again, to just make you look awake and glowy and healthy and not like you're dying. Um, I haven't set the rest of my face yet because I'm going to use a cream highlighter today. This is also by Skin. It's what it looks like. I'm just going to take and pop it on the back of my hand. Just the tiniest bit. And just on a finger, I'm going to take and run that and you, any place you would normally highlight. Um, I am just really avoiding powder products today because I don't want my skin to look dry. So really everything I'm doing is to make my skin look healthy and glowy. So once I was done applying my cream highlight, making sure it was all blended out, I just went ahead and set my face with my Clinique blended face powder and a big powder brush using like a quarter of the amount that I normally do. Um, really just to make sure everything stays in place and there's no movement of makeup throughout the day. Um, for blush today, I'm going to be using NARS's Orgasm just because I want like a natural pinky flush to my cheeks. I don't want anything super dark or heavy. I just want to look healthy and glowy today. So I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks just in like a circular motion. Just to add the slightest bit of color back into my cheeks. As you can see, that just adds a little bit of color and I'm going to add a little bit on the forehead just through my face just to give a little bit of a natural flush to my face so so yeah. now that's all I'm going to do to the face I'm not going to contour I'm not really going to highlight with any more powder because like I said I'm avoiding powers like the devil because my skin is really dry and it's really dry anyway so you can only imagine how dry it feels right now um so moving on to the eyes, again, really simple, again, just to make me look awake. First thing I'm going to do is take my Rimmel Scandalized pencil in Nude and line my waterline. Just to open up my eyes. And you can kind of see that this eye looks a little more open and awake than this eye does. So I've already primed my lids with Max Paint Pot in Rubenesque. It's just a very peachy gold color. If you have that and you use it, you could just stop here, put some mascara on and go, but I want to do a little bit extra and I'm going to use my Kat Von D palette because there are just some colors in here that are very neutral. Uh, yeah, so the first one I'm going to take is this one here. It's Precious. Very shimmery color um, and I'm just going to use that on my inner corner here just to open up the inner corner of my eyes and I'm gonna put it under my brow bone as well just to lift that up some and then over top of the lid I'm gonna go in with a very peachy tone color again this one is geek here and it's a very light kind of satiny finish um, it almost looks matte, but it's definitely a satin, and I'm just going to apply that to the lid. So then just to finish off my eyes, I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer and a fluffy brush and just put some definition into my crease. And you can be as heavy handed or as light handed with this as you want to. It all just depends on how much you want to do. And I mean seriously you could have stopped at putting the one color on your eye. I just wanted a little bit more dimension going on and a little bit more color going on on my lids just to make me look a little more awake. Uh, 
Um, and actually, just to blend that out a little bit more, this bronzer is just a little bit lighter. It's from Pixie, and I'm going to take it on the same brush and just blend out where I think it's, because I think it's a little too, too dark. So, just because I am so shaky and I didn't know if I would be able to do it, while I was trying to look at the camera and look at a mirror at the same time, I tight-lined off-camera and I used Max Teddy Cole Pencil. It's just a very gold-toned brown. Um, and if you don't know what tight-lining is, that's when you put eyeliner in your upper waterline. Um, and then I applied the Skin Mascara from Dimitri James. This is the Wow Factor Intense Effects Mascara. Um, and then I set my face with the Kat Von D Lock and Load Makeup Setting Mist. This is my new, this is my new favorite. I, yeah, it smells amazing too. Um, so yeah, that pretty much finishes my I don't feel good makeup. Um, if you have to go do something. Generally, I wouldn't wear makeup if I didn't feel good. Generally, I wouldn't go do anything if I didn't feel good. But I do have stuff I have to do today. So yeah. So thanks y'all for watching and I hope you found this helpful. Bye.